Africa is often characterized and perceived based on certain stereotypes, alternating between a romanticized portrayal of its natural beauty featuring lush rainforests, majestic waterfalls, and golden savannas with elephants and lions, and a darker narrative that paints Africa as a perpetual humanitarian tragedy. This narrative focuses on recurring issues such as violent coups, the rise of terrorist and rebel groups, famine, epidemics, and numerous internal conflicts. While it is true that Africa faces these challenges, relying on these stereotypes can lead to a lack of understanding of the continent's nuanced and changing reality. Beyond the stereotypes, the real story is that Africa is going through significant changes that are influencing the global landscape. Africa's current population of more than 1.4 billion is expected to double by 2030, according to projections. This demographic shift, combined with economic growth and technological advancements, establishes Africa as a key player in the global future. Understanding Africa's complexities beyond cliches is critical for recognizing its diversity, resilience, and future contributions to the global community. That means one out of every four people in the world might be African, with several countries on this vast continent undergoing an enormous youth bulge. All this begs the question, what will Africa look like in 2030? Africa's future trajectory is yet to be determined, but there is growing recognition that the continent's large and young population may play a critical role in propelling African nations onto the global stage, similar to China's rapid rise. Africa, the world's second largest and most populous continent, accounts for approximately 18% of the global population. It stands out for its immense potential, which includes abundant natural resources, a burgeoning human capital base, and fertile agricultural lands. These factors place Africa's development as one of the most pressing and critical issues on the global agenda. Africa's youthful demographic profile, with a large proportion of its population under the age of 30, presents both a challenge and an opportunity. With the right investments in education, healthcare, and job creation, this rapidly growing youth population has the potential to drive innovation, economic growth, and positive social change. As the world grapples with the complexities of the 21st century, recognizing and capitalizing on Africa's potential becomes not only a responsibility for the continent, but also a shared imperative for creating a more interconnected and prosperous world. The adoption of modern technologies and advanced communication facilities across the African continent has been critical in promoting development. African countries are using technology to drive progress in a variety of sectors, including finance, agriculture, healthcare, and infrastructure. As the global community looks ahead to 2030, there are high hopes for Africa's significant growth with advancements in development projects, cryptocurrency utilization, agricultural innovation, technological breakthroughs, and the emergence of robust and diverse economies across the continent. The coming decade promises transformative changes that will strengthen Africa's position as a major player in the global landscape. What has been done or is currently being carried out to make these aspirations a reality? Let's find out in this video. Before we begin, you can help our channel grow by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss any interesting updates. This is Africa in 2030. 1. Development Projects Africa is going through a transformational period, with a slew of development projects in various sectors shaping the continent's path to 2030. Seven of the world's ten fastest-growing economies are located in Africa, which is experiencing significant demographic shifts as populations grow and more Africans enter the global middle class. Development projects play an important role in driving these changes, addressing critical infrastructure needs, and creating an environment conducive to increased trade and tourism. One of the primary goals of African development projects is to improve transportation infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, railways, and airports. Significant initiatives are underway along the North-South African corridor, including power generation projects, port development, and the construction of an 85,000-kilometer road stretch. These initiatives aim to boost economic activity along the corridor, which connects South Africa to Zambia, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Botswana to Mali. Notable projects include Egypt's ambitious construction of a smart city, 
which is intended to serve as the country's new administrative capital and will eventually house millions. The contentious Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam project, which is expected to generate over 5.1 gigawatts of electricity, is another significant venture that reflects the continent's scale and diversity of development efforts. From Ghana's interconnected rail line to smart cities and renewable energy projects, Africa's development landscape is dynamic and multifaceted, demonstrating the continent's commitment to transformation and growth in the years ahead. 2. Cryptocurrency Cryptocurrency adoption and use in Africa are rapidly increasing, with the potential to transform the continent's financial landscape. Despite Africa accounting for only 2% of the global value of cryptocurrencies, the rapid growth of digital currencies is clear. Between 2020 and 2021, Africans received cryptocurrency payments totaling $5.6 billion, a remarkable 1,200% increase over 2019. Cryptocurrency adoption in Africa is not a new phenomenon. Six African economies, including Kenya, Manchuria, and South Africa, were among the top 20 countries with the highest levels of cryptocurrency adoption in 2021. Bitcoin stands out as the most popular cryptocurrency in Africa, with South Africa, Manchuria, Ghana, and Kenya leading the way. The use of cryptocurrencies has grown, with an increasing number of merchants now accepting cryptocurrency payments. The Global Crypto Adoption Index highlights African countries' growing adoption of digital currencies. Looking ahead to 2030, cryptocurrency payments are expected to become the norm in Africa, reshaping financial transactions and creating new opportunities for economic inclusion. While challenges and criticisms persist, the momentum of cryptocurrency adoption is clear, with innovative applications in a variety of industries, including real estate financing in Mozambique and credit scoring for businesses in Kenya, demonstrating the potential for transformative change in Africa's financial landscape. Let's continue. Three agricultural projections. The agricultural industry is one of the most important sectors of the global economy, and it is easy to understand why. You would not only generate some of the highest global incomes, but it also fulfills the world's food requirements. Agriculture is inextricably linked to the global economy, as it provides many people's livelihoods in both developed and developing economies. Agriculture is typically the largest contributor to GDP in most countries, particularly in Africa. With Africa's vast agricultural potential, the agribusiness sector is expected to reach $1 trillion by 2030. In fact, the African Investment Forum believes that agribusiness will be the continent's new oil. With Africa's rapidly growing population, there is a need for food security, which can be greatly improved through investment in the agricultural sector. Here are some facts about this great continent's agricultural sector. According to Aiken Humi Ad Day Center, President of the African Development Bank, Africa's agricultural sector will be worth $1 trillion in 2030. To enhance the promise of a modern African agricultural sector by 2030, judicious and significant use of natural resources will be required. To increase agricultural productivity in Africa, farmers must use efficient irrigation systems, in addition to rainfall, for row crops. Endrip's latest technologies enable irrigation without the need for costly infrastructure, such as centrifugal pumps and filters. Although crop production systems have received a lot of attention in agricultural development, Africans are increasingly interested in modern livestock farming. By 2030, there will be more sustainable crop livestock mixed systems. Unfortunately, Africa's agricultural sector does not have equal income distribution opportunities. Despite their high productivity in this sector, women earn a low share of the income. Therefore, the future of African agriculture must open doors for women to receive a fair share in income distribution, because agriculture cannot afford to leave behind more than half of its population if it is to succeed. 4. Technological Projections Africa is being watched as the next big growth market, a description that has been around for a while. Despite the fact that African growth has stalled, science, technology, and innovation are Africa's blueprint for rapid development by 2030. On March 1, 2022, Vera Songwe, 
Executive Secretary of the Economic Commission of Africa, called for the establishment of an African technology development and transfer network to spur innovation and accelerate development on the continent. What can we learn from technological projections in Africa? The African technological industry is undeniably promising. Africa's rapid growth in digital skills is set to accelerate, with 643 innovation hubs now in place. However, challenges impede the sector's expansion. In terms of internet service in Africa, a recent report by the Crypto Invest Group states that the continent will not have a true 4G connection for another five years. This, like many other challenges, is a problem with infrastructure. Countries such as Morocco already have super-fast internet download speeds. Others are approaching this level. In Africa, new and cost-effective electricity supply methods have been developed and implemented. This technological advancement has increased the demand for generators and solar panels. Recycled post-harvest waste and fertilizers are increasing African agricultural productivity. By 2030, much will have changed as many companies and industries now manufacture these items. There are numerous technological projects aimed at developing Africa. Some of these include artificial intelligence to help industrial startups and businesses, education technology, and clean technology for scientific research, among others. What does Africa's infrastructure look like by 2030? Let us continue to find out. But first, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates from us. Africa is the home of an ancient civilization. The Egyptian empire and its magnificent structures laid the groundwork for modern infrastructure discoveries around the world. In terms of infrastructure development, the majority of the continent's countries are going all out. Transportation networks. A new Africa will emerge in 2030 with improved transportation networks buildings, and advanced digital infrastructures. Since 2021, more than $3 billion has been invested in Africa's digital market, establishing several commercial networks. In East Africa, a tripartite transport and transit facilitation program has been implemented to help achieve target nine of the strategic development goals, which is to build resilient infrastructure and promote sustainable industrialization. This project aims to develop and implement harmonized road transport policies, laws, regulations, and standards for efficient cross-border and transit networks in the East and Southern African regions. We will not leave you without mentioning some of the continent's great tourist infrastructures, which have become global references, such as the Alemi Football Stadium in Cameroon and the AXM Obelisk in Ethiopia. Eco-Atlantic in Nigeria, Waterfall City in South Africa, Wakanda City in Ghana, among others. It is common knowledge that poor and underdeveloped infrastructure is one of the primary barriers to investment and growth in Africa. According to Brookings, nearly 600 million Africans do not have access to the electricity grid, and the continent's infrastructure remains behind that of other developing regions. Significant progress has been achieved. Africa's annual investment in infrastructure has doubled to around 80 billion US dollars a year since the beginning of this century. That represents a significant opportunity for investors and entrepreneurs with the imagination to help solve Africa's infrastructure challenges. 6. Emerging Economies Africa's emerging economies, particularly Egypt, Morocco, South Africa, and Tunisia, are attracting global investment, particularly in the retail and distribution sectors. These leading economies are distinguished by shifting demographics and a steadily improving business climate. As these countries' economies grow and develop, household consumption rises, with the total expected to reach 2.5 trillion by 2030. Increased consumer demand is expected to have a significant impact on these countries' overall economic landscape. The continent's demographics are also changing, with Brookings predicting that seven countries Manchuria, Ethiopia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Tanzania, Kenya, and South Africa will account for half of Africa's population in the near future. This demographic shift, combined with improved business environments, suggests an opportunity for increased economic activity, foreign investment, and market expansion. Global businesses are likely to find opportunities for growth and market penetration in these emerging economies, 
which will help Africa's overall economic development and position the continent as a key player in the global business landscape. By 2030, 43% of Africans are expected to be middle or upper class. As African economies develop, consumer goods and low-cost short-term products are in high demand. Food, beverages, hygiene products, home care, and appliances will continue to be widely consumed in Africa. By 2032, competition in Africa will intensify. This is due to the increased presence of multinational corporations in Africa in recent years, such as Walmart. Entrepreneurs and policymakers, on the other hand, are likely to capitalize on the momentum of Africa's consumer markets while also embracing the challenges that can be overcome with the right consumer-led solutions. This concludes our projections for Africa by 2030. We hope that these projections will inspire Africans across the continent and beyond. What contributions do you believe you can make to the advancement of Africa? Are there other developments you think we missed out on which should have been included in our forecasts? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.